Hilltoppers, my name is Kendall Soto here at the Student Success Center at St. Ed's. Navigating the job market can be tough as it is. Adding a pandemic to the mix makes it even more complicated. So today we're going to discuss some tips about the job search during and after the pandemic and how your St. Ed's community is here to help you during this time. So we'll chat with Jason De La Rosa, who's the Director of Career and Professional Development. Jason, do you mind introducing yourself? Hi, my name is Jason Del Rosa, and I'm the Director of Career and Professional Development at St. Edward University. I just want to take a few minutes to chat with you a little bit about some career advice um, and some thoughts that we have regarding to some questions that might be popping up right now. Um, of course, we always have a wealth of information and resources on our Career and Professional Development website. You can refer to as a student, as an alumni, or as a potential employer looking to uh, work with some of our students. Thank you, Jason. So our first question is, how can students navigate the current job and internship market? Navigating the current job and internship market can always be a tricky thing, regardless of what is going on in the world around us. Um, I always refer students to start with the resources they have at their disposal. So first off, any student, uh, graduating senior, alumni, anybody who's been part of the Hilltop community can certainly continue to utilize the resources of the Career and Professional Development Office. I encourage everybody to call 512-448-8530, email us at secareer.stedwards.edu, um, or just kind of visit us in our virtual Zoom room as you refer to our website. You know, one of those things that I always like to let people know though is, it's always a good idea to have a current and updated resume on hand and a current updated LinkedIn profile on hand. We have a pretty extensive alumni network and we have a lot of really great networking opportunities on our own campus. So I would encourage you to stay in contact with the career office at this time. I think that right now though, there is some limited availability in terms of jobs and opportunities out there, but you'd be surprised at how much there is out there. Um, I know that on our website, we have a resource uh, guide that has a regular weekly update as to what jobs are out there, useful articles um, that people can look into. Um, but the main thing is make sure that you're polishing yourself up and putting your best foot forward with the help of our career services office. Great. So what should students be thinking about as they consider jobs and internships? I think that one of the things I would certainly refer people to think about is this Japanese concept that has really been resonating with me recently. I believe it's called Ikigai. I'm sure I slaughtered how you're supposed to pronounce that, but it really combines four very important elements that I think are important to think about regardless of what's happening in the world around us. Um, and those four elements are doing what you love, doing what you're good at, being mindful of what the world needs and looking at what it is that you can actually get paid for, right? So these things are certainly going to uh, ebb and flow over time. But I think that discovering what it is that you are passionate about and what you're excited about is something that you should never let go of. Um, I think that sometimes we have to bounce that out with what it is that we're good at, um, but we should have a pretty good sense of what sort of strengths we bring to the table. And we should really reflect and think about what sort of things we uh, could stand to improve upon in utilizing the resources, the people, the friends, the family, um, and certainly St. Ed's as ways to help build and fill in some of those areas that we're not so strong in. Um, I think that right now, um, what the world needs is something very different than what it needed a few months ago. It's certainly different than what it needed five, 10, 20 years ago. So finding the right balance between what it is that you love, what it is that you're good at, as well as what the world needs, um, those things are gonna change. So look and see what sort of jobs and opportunities and internships are needed. Um, I think that we're going to see a lot more change coming in the next several months. Um, and things probably will not go back, will not go back to how they were before. Um, I think the, the big positive part of me is certainly thinking about the idea that if we go back to business as usual, there might've been something lost there. So this is a time to be innovative and think about what are the things that you can create? What are the things that you can do that maybe we hadn't thought about before? And of course that fourth and final element is what is it that you can actually get paid for right now? Right, so maybe the thing that we're getting paid for um, in the immediate future is not that final end of a career sort of job that you're looking for, but it might be the thing that helps you brush up on some of those transferable skills. Maybe it helps you brush up on your communication skills. Maybe it helps you brush up on your uh, marketing skills. Maybe it helps you brush up on the soft and hard skills. The thing is you wanna be mindful of that. You wanna constantly record what it is that you're doing. So the thing that you're going for right now may not be 
your career for the rest of your life. Um, but very few things are that career for the rest of your life, right? People change their careers several times through their lifetime. It's not the same as it was in prior generations. And so you might find that some of the things you're gonna get paid for right now are gonna help you land that next big thing. So just be thoughtful about that. The other thing I would think about is be specific and know what it is that you're going for, right? So if you have a very general resume or a very general LinkedIn profile and you're just going for anything and everything that's out there without taking the time to customize the resume and LinkedIn for those opportunities, you might come up a little bit short. So I would say, even though you might be open to a lot of different opportunities and possibilities right now, make sure that your resume, your LinkedIn profile and your cover letters are specific and you're showing those companies that you are interested in them and that you bring, bring a very specific skill set to them. One thing to think about, especially for our newly graduating seniors and our current students, is it's not just about work experience, right? So if somebody's looking at your resume, your LinkedIn profile, and you're like, hey, I've only done one job or I've only done one internship, think about all the other things you've done. What has the Hilltop prepared you for? So look at your stronger record of service. What are the skill sets? What are the things you've done? Who are the people you met um, just by virtue of doing service? What are the um, skill sets you picked up doing some of your academic projects and the research for your classes? So whether you're a natural science student, whether you're a um, human development and education student, behavioral social sciences, it doesn't really matter, right? You have all done research somewhere along the line. So you've become stronger communicators, verbally, written, think about the mission of the institution and um, where we put our, our hearts in terms of service and taking risks and being courageous. So I would certainly think about those things as you're um, considering different careers and internships. Look at the things that are going to help you develop over time and think about what we need in this ever-changing world right now in light of the pandemic. Jason, so our next question is, how will students seeing Edwards education help in a challenging job landscape? Ultimately, I think that a St. Edward's education is going to be really, really helpful during this challenging job landscape. In general, I think St. Ed's students and alumni are really well equipped to um, be very marketable in uh, internship opportunities and job opportunities and obviously for career opportunities. I mean, I think a lot of that really boils down to the type of education we provide and the mission of the institution. When you look at our mission, it certainly goes into this idea that graduates in all of our programs should be prepared through training and critical and creative thinking, as well as moral reasoning to analyze problems, propose solutions, and make responsible decisions. I think that all of those elements are incredibly crucial in this time right now and will continue to be crucial once we get on the other side of it. I think that the sort of coursework that we do um, through our liberal arts education has really prepared students to be able to present themselves in a very articulate fashion, orally and in a written form as well. You know, as we're kind of looking at how to solve different problems and how to come up with novel ideas, I think that all of our courses have challenged our students in ways that allow them to think critically about what's going on in society and how do we look at this concept of justice and how do we look at this concept of peace um, but aside from kind of that more macro uh, vision of things, students are really encouraged to help um, gain a better understanding of themselves and their personal values and what role they have to play in the global community and their local communities. I think that Austin has been very fortunate um, to have a very symbiotic uh, relationship with the university. So our students certainly are accustomed to giving back to the community and I think that we have really benefited from that in several ways. Um, because the students are certainly helping society and they're helping the community around them. But I think that through that, they've certainly learned some really great uh, hard and soft skills in terms of what they're going to be able to put on a resume and LinkedIn profile when the time comes. Thank you so much, Jason. And our final question today is what are some good ways that students and alumni can network during this time? You know, networking is one of those things that can be pretty difficult and challenging for people regardless of what's going on in the world around us. I think right now um, the pandemic has certainly uh, put a few extra barriers to the process of networking. We, it's not like we can necessarily go out to uh, a job fair, a career fair, um, a mixer of any sort uh, designed to help network. Instead, we have to certainly um, scale back a little bit and utilize the things that are most readily available to us. You know, one of the things that I would encourage everybody to do is make sure you have a nice, polished LinkedIn profile. 
you can certainly look at samples on uh, LinkedIn. You want to make sure you're utilizing the career counseling services at uh, St. Edward University. Um, but I think the other part of it is once you get that profile up and ready to go, it's not a resume, right? Your LinkedIn profile should be a little bit more nuanced, it should have a little bit more flavor to it. Um, and I think one of the ways you can do that is make sure you use our services at the university. Once you have that LinkedIn profile up and ready to go though, I would certainly encourage you to look um, at with what our alumni are doing. We have a huge network of positive St. Edward University alumni who are ready and available to help out current students, graduating seniors, and of course our other alumni who are facing a little bit more uncertain times right now. So, you know, do a simple search. Look at St. Edward University and see who is graduated from the university, see who maybe was there for a couple of years. Look at our undergraduate um, alumni, look at our graduate student alumni and see what's out there. The other thing I would utilize is Bumble Biz. I think people think about Bumble and they automatically think about dating. Um, they actually have another functionality for it uh, in terms of Bumble Biz. So if you're in a more populous city or metropolitan area, that might be a pretty good wealth of information for you to pair up with somebody who's willing to talk about job and networking opportunities. So I would certainly take a look into that. So I think one of the other things that people can certainly utilize is the local chamber of commerce in the respective cities. There is a pretty regular posting for any city that you're in that's gonna say, here are the certain, uh, here are the certain jobs that are posting right now. Here are maybe some of the companies that are freezing right now. Um, so I would utilize um, some of the chamber of commerce uh, in your cities because some of those will actually have networking opportunities and kind of virtual chat and mentorship uh, opportunities as well for you to talk to a mentor or be a mentor to somebody else.